people always do. I'm Pat Crowley from Salt Lake City, founder of Chapool Cricket Bars. Here's our frozen crickets. We get the crickets frozen from a cricket farm, and then we have a big freezer that we keep them in. And um, so we thaw them out, we rinse them, we throw them on the sheets, and then we, we cook them and, and mill them down to flour that goes into our energy bar. But really, it's just ancient practice. Our name Chapul is an Aztec word for cricket or grasshopper. And that's basically what they would do is just dry them out in the sun and then mill them down to a flower. So it's really nothing new. People really feeling, feeling with their a lot of my family think I'm crazy for sure, no doubt about it. I'm, I'm now called the cricket man at every family reunion I go to. Uh, it wasn't a nickname I expected when I was <laughs> coming in. It was really hard for us to find a kitchen at first that, you know, when we told them what we were doing, um, bringing insects into a kitchen, most kitchens try and keep them out. One guy, this guy in the south, is like, I spend thousands of dollars keeping insects out of my kitchen every month and you're telling me you want to bring them in? <laughs> My name is Callan Trethlik Sifsoff, and um, I am a pro snowboarder from Alaska, and I've been on the U.S. snowboard team for eight years now. My name is Jai Santos. I'm a I'm a pro cage fighter. Most of the time, people are like, well, "Is that really crickets? Is that is that for real?" <laughs> Typically, they're like, "Oh, interesting," and sometimes they're like, "Ew, gross." <laughs> tell them they mill them into a flour, that it tastes like a protein bar. I usually tell them like, "It's not that weird. It's a it's a sustainable source of protein. It doesn't take a lot of water to keep crickets alive." I think when I tell them that it's it, that 10 percent of your profits go toward the sustainability of the Colorado River, people are like, "Oh, wait, what?" And then I tell them like, "We're draining the river for agricultural purposes, and we're." overusing it and then they're like oh wow and usually that alone is like oh well then I'll I'll buy it just because it's a good cause. Yeah. This river is facing a changing climate and we may not have that supply in as much volume as we have it now in the future and I work for a school called National Outdoor Leadership School and we take students down uh, wilderness areas uh, and we'll go on a two, three week rafting trip and, and we teach environmental science and leadership skills. And so one of the biggest classes I teach is where that water goes. And I kind of put the end of the lesson on them saying, it's up to you guys and the future generations to come up with solutions that are paradigm shifting that can get us out of this mess essentially. Chapool was just a community project. We didn't have any money. We didn't, uh, we didn't have any business experience. So what we did have is just a bunch of good people that came together and helped out you know, we are having fun, make cricket bar, which is awesome, delicious, you know, and at the same time, we are doing something for a great reason. 